All right, guys. So the first movie I'm going to review is going to be a Christmas movie. We're 11 days away from Christmas. So I figured, why not? Let's get in the fucking spirit and let's review a Christmas movie. So I decided to go with a brand new Christmas movie that Netflix decided to drop on us. Um, It's called Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle is about Geronicus Jangle, an inventor, toy maker, and owner of Jangles and Things, receives the final component to his latest in- invention that he believes will change his and his family's lives forever. This component helps create Don Juan Diego, a sentient matador doll. Geronicus leaves to celebrate leaving Diego in the store under care of his apprentice, Gustafon. Diego is distraught to learn that he will be mass-produced, thus robbing him of his uniqueness. He manages to convince Gustafon, an aspiring inventor himself, to get back at Geronicus by taking Diego and his book of inventions. This hurts Geronicus. Without proof of Gustafon's actions to show the police jangles and things, falls into financial hardship while Gustafon starts his own factory. After the death of his wife, Joanne, Geronicus grows distant from his daughter, Jessica, who moves away. Thirty years later, Jangles and Things is a failing pawnbroker shop and Geronicus has completely lost his creative spark. He is visited by postwoman Miss Johnston, who is sympathetic to his plight and smitten with him as she tries to lift his spirits. Geronicus is visited by banker Mr. Delacroix, who tells him to pay his debts or produce a new invention to show to the bank by Christmas or lose his shop. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Jessica now has a daughter named Journey who shares Geronicus's passion for inventing. Geronicus is busy working on his next toy, the Buddy 3000, which Journey discovers was conceived and designed by Jessica, and Journey is determined to get it to work. Augustafon is determined to steal another one of... Geronicus's inventions. Interesting. So, seems like a good Christmas movie, I guess. It's about making toys and whatnot, so should be kind of interesting. Um, the cast in this movie is Forrest Whitaker, Madeline Mills, Ricky Martin, Keegan Michael Key, Anika Noni Rose, Felicia Rashad, and Lisa Davina Phillip. So, the only one I know out of all these is Forrest Whitaker and Ricky Martin. Everybody else, I have no idea who they are. This is only available on Netflix, considering it's a Netflix original movie. So if you're looking to stream this, that's the only spot you can find it. Um, I'm kind of interested in watching this, so I'm going to go downstairs, get myself ready for takeoff. (laughs) And uh, I'm going to sit down and watch this fucking movie and give you guys a review of it. So... I will be back in two hours. See you guys in a bit. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Okay, I'm back. Holy fuck. That was an interesting movie. Jingle Jangle. Um, It was a good Christmas movie. It's not something I don't think I'd watch every single holiday, every year for Christmas. You know, you got your usual Home Alone. Uh, I like watching a Charlie Brown Christmas every year. Um, movies like that, A Christmas Story, those movies are like classics. This movie, for me at least, I don't think it's a movie I'm going to be watching every year. Um It's got a lot of singing in it, a lot of dancing in it, um, which I can deal with. I do like musicals, but these songs were, like, too long, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's just because I was fucking high. I definitely got lost in a lot of this movie. Um, So if you are a baked binger um, and you don't want to really get lost in a movie, don't watch this movie. Um, they had really good costumes. The costumes were pretty sweet to see. Um, they had a really good dancing intro to kind of start off the movie. It's like, if you've watched this movie, can you imagine having 
that type of like life where you wake up or at one point in during your day you just get into a fucking serious dance with the whole town <laughs> everybody would be fucking happy all the time everyone would be so much nicer um yeah then there was Geronicus uses this green potion that he puts in his toy machine that makes the toys come to life. I don't really tell you where he gets the green potion from, which is something I was just thinking about. Um, I guess it's just all magic in this, so I can't really just ask stupid questions like that, I guess. Um, the toy ends up creating like this little Mexican dancer thing. Um, which I think was Ricky Martin's character. Um, but I just kept sitting there thinking like I got Toy Story vibes from it. It was weird. The toy was talking and dancing and trying to be in charge. So I'm like sitting here thinking, did Geronicus make Woody and Buzz from Toy Story? Is this like a prequel to Toy Story? It was interesting. But yeah, man, it was kind of a fucked up movie. Django gets fucked over pretty hard. Uh, the, his apprentice steals his toy. That would have made him rich and famous and a huge supplier in the fucking toy world, I guess. Um, and then his fucking wife dies. The dude falls into this deep depression. And like the fact that his wife dies knowing that her husband got fucked over. And never got like a revenge for it. As the Geronicus or like the husband, dude, I would fucking never forgive myself. My wife died knowing that I was a bitch, you know? That would suck. And he's got this weird little retarded kid working for him. And he's all depressed. I don't know, man. And then there's like this fat chick that keeps like trying to fuck him. Like, she fucking wants him bad. It's insane. Like, she's desperate for some jangle. Like, she wants Geronicus's jangle all up in her. And Geronicus is just like, nah, dude. Not gonna happen. I'm depressed. I miss my wife. And I got screwed over. But she just keeps trying anyways. Good for her. I actually kind of love her now. That's probably one of my favorite characters in this whole fucking movie. Just a big whore. <laughs> but anyways. Buddy 3000 is the new toy he ends up trying to create. And it's like a knockoff Johnny 5 from Short Circuit. Just like the newer 2020 version of it. But it was a pretty cool fucking toy. It like flies and shit and it like repeats what you say and kind of remembers and starts like speaking to you and whatnot. Um, it's a little cute doll toy thingy, but it was a uh, kind of creepy at the same time being high watching it. And then like it makes you fly too. So yeah. Creepy. Then the uh, granddaughter journey played by Madeline Mills. She's going to be a star, man. She fucking sings. She's a good little actress. So it was kind of cool to see her. Um, she fucking tore it up in Jingle Jangle. And, like, who fucking thought Forrest Whitaker can fucking sing? The dude's singing songs and shit and dancing. He has, like, this big snowball fight with a bunch of kids. It's kind of creepy. And then Ricky Martin's character was Don Juan Diego, which was, like, a little bullfighting toy, which dances all the time it's actually pretty funny it was a funny character in the movie um it was just weird seeing ricky martin where the fuck's that guy been you know um i don't know it was a weird movie um i definitely wouldn't probably watch it again don't get me wrong it's a good movie and i say watch it but on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving it about a 6.6. Six. It's not high. It's not low. It was a good movie. I think what did it for me was the fucking songs, man. They were just way too long. 
and it just fucked with my head. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just check it out. It is a good movie. I recommend watching it. It's just not something that I'd keep watching every year for Christmas, like I said. So, so the next movie I'm going to go watch is another Christmas movie. Come on, guys. It's fucking Christmas. Uh, we're going to go with Holiday. I'm going to go with that movie. So check into the next episode and we'll go over fucking Holiday. See ya, bitches.